now of course there has been a lot of talk about how tough the job search has been in the us this is due to a variety of reasons and of course in tough economic situations only the best survive now in this video i'm going to cover some of the most promising degrees that you can do in the us and provided you go to a decent enough university for one of these degrees you will most likely secure a job what we've been seeing in the current market is that people going to good universities for these degrees are taking a little longer to secure a job but they're still securing it nonetheless so this video is incredibly relevant even more so today it always was because we don't want to do some nonsense degrees that does not have demand in the market in terms of a skill set so this video for all of you prospective masters applicants is going to be incredibly incredibly useful stay tuned Apart from telling you about these degrees, I'm also going to cover what undergraduate backgrounds and what work experience requirements these degrees have. Therefore, you could perhaps pick the most relevant, useful degree for you. Right. So the first type of degree, there are no prizes for guessing for this. And no matter what people say, the masters in computer science is always going to see the highest demand in the US. The reason for this is very, very simple. The US is the tech capital of the world in terms of tech products, enterprise services, whatever you can think of. It is an American company that is driving all of the products that we use. A lot of the high level development and strategic decision making happens at US offices and therefore the best talent who can code well and intuitively will always find demand in the US. Now when I say computer science I'm also going to cover degrees like AI and ML within it. There are certain universities that offer dedicated AI degrees but by and large it falls under the same family. Now of course for computer science if you have to be eligible you will definitely need to have an undergraduate major in computer science if you come from a mechanical engineering or civil engineering or even an ece it can be challenging for you to get into a computer science program the reason being the prerequisites for a computer science degree are that you have database management systems data structures and algorithms object oriented programming and operating systems this in typical indian engineering colleges only cs or it grads will have if you do have it and you have an interest in computer science and related fields and coding then cs is definitely a promising degree if you want to specialize you can look at ai and ml as well now sticking within the theme of computer science data science degrees are also incredibly incredibly popular now why did i not include data science into the previous categorization the reason being you can apply to data science coming from any background you could be a mechanical engineer you could be a chemical engineer provided you have the right research experience and research projects you will be eligible to apply to the top ds programs because they're largely domain agnostic of course you need to show your demonstrated aptitude towards the core mathematical principles and the coding required through your projects and research papers if you show that you can absolutely apply for it in addition you don't even have to be an engineer to apply to a data science degree you could have a mathematics honors degree and you still will be eligible all right the next kind of degree that sees incredible demand demand year after year in the US is the management in information systems the MIS the MIS is often called the younger cousin of the computer science program the reason being MIS is used by people who come from non CS undergrads who cannot apply for an MS in CS due to the lack of prerequisites to break into computer science related roles MIS programs have basic computer science entry level courses like database management systems data structures and algorithms and other foundational coding courses that bring non computer scientists up to speed Typically people who come from any engineering background who perhaps worked in an IT or a tech company for 1 or 2 or 3 years will be eligible for MIS degrees of course you can make it to MIS being a fresher as well but it is preferred that you have some level of work experience and it improves your chance of getting a job after you graduate eventually the MIS also is used by people who worked in coding roles or core tech roles for a couple of years to break into product or project management roles in IT or tech companies there is demand for these roles and like i said the tech sector is always going to be a strong recruiter uh, within the US and therefore the MIS gives you the duality where you can break into core tech or you can break into tech management roles and it's been a promising degree once again provided you go to the right university the next degree has been growing from strength to strength unlike any other and that is the engineers mba called the masters in engineering management if you are an engineer from any branch of engineering and you don't want to stick to your core domain maybe you don't want to code or you don't want to do simulations and modeling as a mechanical engineer or you don't want to spend time in a lot of construction sites measuring the toughness of various structures as a civil engineer you want to break into more of the strategic management side 
then you can do the engineering management degree the mem is popular among recruiters and is promising as a degree because it helps people break into a couple of major areas that is seeing decent demand product management even though has had its sheen cut off over the last few years because of reducing demand is still going to be a popular role product managers are exactly what an mem degree produces additionally if you have the relevant experience or the relevant educational background mem also allows you to break into analytics roles at an entry level also it can help you break into operations and supply chain related roles provided again you have the relevant background projects or work experience in recent times the mem has also helped people break into tech consulting roles again not management consulting tech consulting read up about it if you do not know what it is at a lot of top companies now the sheer diversification of roles that you can break into post an mem makes it advantageous of course the university that you pick will greatly determine the kind of role you can crack after you graduate so choose your universities wisely the mem is something that you can safely consider now while you're watching this video i strongly recommend you consider all possibilities because based on your current skill set and your interests one degree may be better suited for you than the other it's not like the number one degree i mentioned here is definitely the best for everyone listening to the video if you want to know what your best bet is you can schedule a free consultation call with the gradwine team on www.gradwine.com or by using the link in the description in addition if you want continuous guidance from us we have a whatsapp group that is open with fellow aspirants to all of the degrees that we've mentioned and the entire gradwine team including me who are going to be available at various intervals answering your questions this could be an incredibly powerful tool for you to have during your master's application journey the links to these whatsapp groups in the description below and you can also schedule a consultation with us using the link in the description below now moving on along the same themes of tech management or techno managerial degrees we have the original tech management degree which is the masters in industrial engineering this is a degree that a lot of you mechanical production chemical civil engineers will be happy about because we've been talking a lot about tech and the circuit branches this is a degree exclusively for the non circuit branches industrial engineering deals with everything from the procurement of raw material the entire manufacturing process the optimization of that process the production of the final good and the distribution of those goods across stores all over the world hence this degree is extremely relevant to the manufacturing sector the process industry and the entire logistics sector as well again all strong areas where there is going to be demand of recruitment in fact in a tough job market it is the supply chain and operations roles that i've seen constant demand when tech has been a little low therefore industrial engineers you will be good if you go to a very good university all right the next degree that i'm going to talk about is for all of you ece grads you can look at vlsi and computer engineering programs because again there is a little bit of duality here this duality stems from the fact that within the us recruiters don't look at the school of computer science and electronics and communications engineering as very very different because of the flexibility of the coursework at us masters programs you could do a computer engineering degree and do maybe 40% of the coursework within the core required courses within the discipline and take as many ai ml or data science electives as you'd like and pivot into those sort of roles in the job market graduates have done it very very frequently in the past of course if you want to break into your core sector such as chip manufacturing that has been an area that has been booming in the us as well and has seen extremely good demand therefore anything ece related such as computer engineering or vlsi degrees are incredibly incredibly strong and that is something that you can absolutely consider if you are an ece grad all right before i conclude this video i'm also going to observe some recent trends in the industry cyber security grads have seen strong hiring opportunities and this is what i've been hearing from my own peers who are now recruiting for their companies and it could be a promising degree for you to look at construction management has seen decent demand which is surprising considering overall the job market has been a little cold therefore there are new emerging degrees which may not have been as popular in the past that are fetching great job opportunities at this point in time that you can absolutely consider therefore there might be other degrees which have shown an upward trend that you need to be aware of and you need to make an informed decision by considering all possibilities this video is a basis for you to start thinking about your masters journey with some good degrees that have seen demand